Right. Are we ready for this? Whew. Oh! You get to pick some new clothes. That's quite nice. I like that. That is a definite option. I'm not keen on that. I don't think it suits her. The outdoor is nice, but I don't think the indoor suits her. Mm, that's quite cool. But, oh, we don't wear the hat with this. So maybe. Oh no. No. I don't think so, Max. I like the blue hair. I don't know why she removes the blue hair when she's outside, but I, I quite like that. That's quite a good look. It's a good Halloween look. We might go pussycat look. Again, I'm not a fan of the coat, but the indoor isn't too bad. Hmm. I'm thinking I'll go with my first choice. We'll go with this one. Yeah. Right, deep breath, guys. Let's do this. Diptych. A diptych, for those who are not aware, is a work of art made of two separate pieces that are displayed together. Or two separate canvases. You're um, getting like water on your sofa. Shit. Right. Uh, I should change. Um. Be right back. Just need to go upstairs and put on something dry. And might be good to say a question for the ages. How much food could a food fighter fight if a food fighter could fight food? Well, there's a weird sense of something bananas is going to go down at Krampus tomorrow. I mean, probably. Pumpkin pie, cherry pie, gingerbread men, sugar cookies. Nice. Once we have one a safe and fun Krampus party tomorrow night, last year's will be tough to beat. Hmm. Safi is a shapeshifter. I'm not the only person with powers. Safi can turn into anyone, it seems. This answers a lot of my questions about that doppelganger itis. Steve Daisy has calmed down some. I mean, it makes sense that we're not the only one with powers. Oh, don't worry, Safi. I will. Mm-hmm. Daisy. 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 Come on, Safi. I would have thought you had more respect for art. 
Is it still destruction of property if what you're tossing around are the books you lent me? Guess I could only hide my past for so long before Sophie took matters into her own hands. I moved my evidence box to this timeline to avoid Alderman, but never thought I'd have to keep it from Sophie, too. Sophie bought me that frame, and then she broke it. Hmm. This is so complicated. Daisy. I don't know where we stand. Daisy Pops, hi Daisy. Daisy, let's immortalize the moment. Can I see their belly? Okay. No. She's a cutie pie. Glad you're down from the fridge. She looks more relaxed. Have we been through enough together? Can I get a high five? <gasps> Yay! Yeah, hi Daisy. This is literally the best moment of my life. When a cat trusts you for the first time. So special. Got an achievement for petting the cat. Do you want to come out and meet a new friend? She's the person that broke in and wrecked our shit last night. Yeah, you yeah. tell her. I was feeling a little hissy myself, honestly. I forgave her. Okay, I understand. I'm not great around strangers either. Maybe next time. No. She's so cozy. Oh. We bonded. Dude, your life is about to change. change clothes I just changed my clothes oh now you want to put a hat on okay well I have so much I want to ask Sophie about I don't even know where to start I liked it better when Sophie and I broke into places together. There's so much we don't know about each other. So, you're what a shapeshifter. You You've got powers? powers? Here, person with the bottle cap has to answer a question. Huh. Clever little minx, you. <laughs> Deal. Let's play. These are the questions we're asking? How long have you had your power? Uh, since high school? 
right after dad left. <coughs> Mom was broken. And the way she dealt with being broken was to make sure I wasn't. That was a project. Proof that she didn't need him to do something right. That's a lot to put on a kid. Yeah, don't I know it. I remember wishing <laughs> so much I could just be the way she wanted me, magically, instead of struggling all the time and still falling short. Then I started wishing I could be someone else entirely. Someone who didn't have to carry all that weight. Then, one day, I could. Wonder how many people in this world have powers. So. Because we know that. Are you like that girl in Frozen? Yeah, I'm Elsa. Ice powers and musical numbers. Well, no. More than that, because the kid in um. There's a world. Life is strange too. Life is Parallel strange too definitely to happens one. in the same world. That I can access so three. I am um, switched that world's icy lake with our broken one. Hang on. Parallel world? And I'm assuming Life is Strange 3 happened at the it's same time as well? It's the same as this so one. So that's four people with powers? Except... Except you're dead. I'm just going to tell the truth. I killed you. Or I will. Is it though? Or is it her what killing herself? What the fuck herself? are you talking about? Oh no, because we became the person. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we became the person holding the gun. We didn't see the person holding the gun. At some point in the future, I think I'm going to travel back to the moment you took this photo and shoot you. Uh, unless I can figure out why and find a way to change things in the present. Let's come back to this. Give me the bottle cap. How exactly do you shapeshift? It's got something to do with perception. Manipulating how others see me and hear me. Like right now, I can kind of feel the part of your brain that senses me. And if I nudge it. Ooh. Wow. Yup. Still creepy. Are the teens using creepy to mean awesome nowadays? Whoa. It's like she walked across my brain for a second. <laughs> oh. Hi, Dan. How you doing? Nice. Love an early day. <sighs> My mom, she can wait. So, you this said is, I about mean, this is going. Traveling back to a moment? Can you clarify? The truth is. I don't know if I can explain how it's teens, going without confusing everybody I could involved. Rewind time. Shit. Time travel too? You really white privilege into all the cool powers? You'd think so. But 
rewinding was. Too easy to abuse. Knowing you can undo anything makes choice seem irrelevant. Oh, the things I would undo, the bad sex I would unhave, the amazing sex I'd rehab. <laughs> Until you learn <laughs> that to move forward, you can only choose one path. And you have to live with it. It's kind of nice, though, to be able to My try dragon, out both huh? alternatives. <laughs> Can you turn into anybody? Uh, only if I've met them IRL. Trying to guess who I've been? Go ahead. I'll answer those for free. You've 100% been Gwen. That was you impersonating Gwen and dealing drugs to students. Not like she didn't deserve it. Your book deal. When I got the news, it was canceled. She was the first person I called. She said she didn't know anything about it. When she started ignoring my texts, I knew it was mask off time. Hell, I started to think you were in on it too. That's why I came tonight. To see what you were hiding. Why didn't you tell me you knew Gwen killed it? I wanted to wait till I got more information. You've got my number, Max. <laughs> we could have shared intel. Seriously, Max, I thought you were covering for Gwen. Thought I couldn't trust you anymore. Yeah, right? But actually, I was just trying to prevent your murder in another timeline. Yeah, that's <laughs> honestly a relief. <sighs> Did you change into Lucas and ruin things with his son? Indeed, she does. I thought Lucas was involved in canceling my book. I so gave him a chance to, to come clean. So destroy his relationship with his kid. He didn't. For canceling your book. What's Robbie had up? nothing to do with his dad's shitty actions, though. I weighed how best to hurt Lucas. Robbie was the only way. No, that's messed up. I don't know. Um. What about shape shifting into Moses? No. Safe He's off limits. Star. Not that I couldn't, but you know, it's Moses. So. That was actually you trying oh, to get into Vin's phone. That makes so much sense. Mm. If anyone deserves an acting award, it's me. That's why Vin I didn't thought he was just trying coach. to get rid of anything tying him to the cow skull fiasco. So that was him. Guess he's still not over me. Nothing says, take me back, like, vandalism. Kids don't spray paint their names in hearts anymore. There was a moment talking to Amanda today that felt a little... 
different. What's that? Look, you were snooping around. I needed to know oh, why yes. it was when Amanda was self in defense. the fab. We can forget about this time, but can you not do that again? It's Amanda. Yeah, okay. Fair. <laughs> I guess I should let you ask me something now. All right, so you used to time travel, and now you can switch timelines? What, what changed? Can I just say this whole scene is so cozy? You know that blue-haired girl? That was hey. my fault. Check your posture. Oh. Yeah, Thank she you died. Down. Shot mm. and bleeding out on the floor of our high school bathroom. All alone. <coughs> All alone except for me. The one person who could have helped her stuck powerless behind a stall a few feet away. Shit, Max. I saw the article in your memories box. You can't blame yourself for... I can't. My powers created a storm. Literally, I mean. And I had a choice. Save my town or save her. I chose Arcadia Bay. I'm gonna have to play this through with the other choice. Just to see how that all goes. I didn't try to rewind again for years. Not until I got here, when other you died, I learned that my powers had changed, that I had. By the way, Moses on the other side gave me that bottle cap to give to you. Moses knows? Well, other side not Moses. everything. Moses? He knows about me Moses. and you being alive. Not the shape changing, obviously. He told me to tell you to stay safe. I'm trying. I should probably tell you about Maya. Maya Okada was my best friend. God, we were such a pair. <laughs> she was so fucking smart, dude, and the best writer I've ever known. What Lucas did to her, stealing her work, it essentially killed her. And as incandescently angry as I am at Lucas, at everyone, I'm so much angrier at myself. God, I, I told her to stay quiet about it. <laughs> My silence catapulted Lucas fucking Colmenero to literary stardom and sent Maya to an early grave. You said you were mad at everyone about it. Still am. Including Gwen? Gwen was the one who said to put my anger into poetry. That poetry became all the daughters we don't talk about. Your book. Yep. And at the 11th hour, she got cold feet. 
That sucks. Vin's statement. Bingo. He was supposed to be Maya's friend. But Caledon said jump. At least I have the humanity to regret asking how high. Does that include your mom? She told me to tell Maya to keep quiet and she protected Lucas. We've talked it through a little since then. I don't hold it against her. Not really. I'm hazy on the connection between all this and your book. She Every book piece about all this. in that collection was about Maya. Or about Maybe what happened Ma to her. Max isn't that smart. Guess I told it a little too clearly. And when Gwen showed her true colors and pulled the plug on the book, I had to find some other path to vindication. Gwen, Lucas, Finn, your revenge tour. My justice tour. Safi. <laughs> What if, what if that justice tour goes wrong? What if it spirals out of control? What if eventually it's the reason I... What, this photo that I don't remember taking? Dude, do you even own a gun? No, but... Great, don't buy a gun, problem solved. I don't understand how you can be so chill about this. I don't understand how you could be such a bummer about it. Max, we have fucking superpowers. You keep talking like you're cursed, but you're not. You're in control. You and me, we're more in control than most people. Hey, look at me. Tell me honestly. Do you really think that you're capable of hurting me like that? I think yes, again, if it was a decision of like her or everybody, because there was the storm, wasn't there? If I had to? Yes. Well then, let's make sure you don't have to. But Safi, we can't just cross our fingers. We have to do something. What do you propose? Lucas. Justice for Maya. You wrote a whole book about it. And that book is dead. The book is... You aren't. I can still expose Lucas. We can. Uh -huh. When you tried to expose him before, you were alone. Now there's two of us. Oh, we've got we're gonna powers, have fun with powers. And we've got proof. Yes. Grandpa's on campus. Shit, that's tonight. Everyone will be there. And he'll be expecting a mock trial. He won't be expecting us. <laughs> Wanna nail a smug asshole to the wall? Yes. I've Let's never nail a smug asshole more. to the wall. <laughs> I'm here at Krampus, but shit, I'm still really. Safi has powers. She can literally nudge people's brains to see what she wants them to see. And Lucas, you can't get any lower than plagiarizing your students' work. But after tonight, everyone will know what he did. Yeah, let's do this. 
and Maya will get the justice she deserves. Okay, some of these decorations scream not safe for work. It's Krampus. Every year it gets even more like a Halloween rager. It's spooky. <laughs> I like it. Everyone should end the year this way. Your idea of a fun outing involves condemned buildings. Of <laughs> yeah, course I forgot we did that right at the beginning. <laughs> Is the gingerbread house part of the plan? Hilarious. No. The plan is when it's time to roast Lucas, we'll swap out their toothless slideshow with mine. It's been a day on it. It's got all the evidence I have of what Lucas did to Maya. We'll play it while he's on stage, in front of everyone. Wait, we just turned up here without discussing the plan? What's wrong? Just promise me we'll nail him this time. Oh. He's not slithering out of this. Not between the two of us and other Moses. You're right. He's fucked. <laughs> so, how do we pull this off? Looks like Reggie's running the projector. We need someone who's willing to run the slideshow without asking questions. And not piss themselves when Lucas gets mad. I'll see how Reggie's feeling. Next up, Ben, who's the MC tonight. So we'll need his help. Think you can talk him into it? Ben and I have history. Then that leaves Gwen. Be nice to have her support. She hates Lucas as much as I do. But I doubt she'd listen to me. I'll talk to her. Great. Does this Gwen Let like us? No, the party. this Gwen doesn't like us. <laughs> right? Or does she know? I don't know. Operation Expose Lucas is a go. Sorry, Gwen. I'll probably have to bother you anyway. No, she doesn't like us. Officially unemployed. I'll be accepting drinks if you want to buy, but not idle chatter. Shut, shut, shut. A cat napping. Does my cat belong to someone else? Oh no. Heavy is the head that wears the Krampus horns. Energy drinks and alcohol. What could go wrong? Heart attack? How are the discussions about our issues on campus going so far? It's good to see Gwen here, in spite of everything. Hey, just the troublemaker I wanted to see. Me? Really? Yeah, you were right. That security oh, footage was like weird. I showed it to the board. And? Didn't make a fucking ounce of difference. Got fired anyway. Sophie's power over perception in others seems to imprint on objects as well. Oh, Gwen. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's true. If she was. So is. Is that what you came over If she here does for? it by affecting people's brains, it shouldn't affect cameras, should it? Sophie has a plan yeah. to tell the truth about Lucas's book during the roast. It would be a lot more credible if someone from the faculty backed us up. Yeah, let's not tell her that Safi's the one who got her fired. I hadn't realized how much fight I'd lost until that hearing today. I forgot how much better it feels to stand for something. 
Fuck it. I'm in. Yay! Thank you, Gwen. Really. So, uh, when does this all go down? Don't worry. You won't miss I guess, it. I guess this is where, like, whether people like us or not plays into whether they'll... <laughs> Safi's um, as subtle as a flying brick. Whether they'll support us in this or not. Give you my Safi guarantee it's worth it. Trust me, Lucas. We're gonna roast you until only ashes are left. Yeah, we are. What am I saying? Of course you believe everything Safi just told me. You wouldn't get so hung up on questions of why and how the way I do. You'd just come up with silly ideas for people Safi could become, and after a few minutes, you'd have Safi and me rolling on the floor with laughter. You'd get her to transform into Victoria, or your mum, or Principal Wells. It feels funny to say I'm relieved. I mean, we nearly drowned in the lake, but I thought I'd lost Safi too. That I'd done something that... <sighs> Excuse me. Doesn't think that hurt her so bad, she would never talk to me again. And then my last best chance to help her, to help anyone, would be gone. Turns out I didn't understand Safi at all. And she didn't understand me. But we fixed that pretty quick. It's not hard when you're both fucked up the way we are. Hey, you made it. Oh, hey. Yeah. Classy. Merry Krampus. One more beanie and this thing's a goner. Gross, Ron. Mm, a Krampus in the wild. Good to friendly. Say cheese. Krampus. They're wearing the same jumper. That's a bit weird. <laughs> ah, Krampus. When a lump of coal in the stocking isn't threatening enough. I, I missed you this time. Do you think Krampus? It bit him better. Ew, is this Latin? Why? Plainus venter non students libenta. I don't know what that means. Now I'm curious about what happened. I think they're all from the Braxis, I don't know. I need to tell Beth. She'll throw. Yeah, no. I should change the framing. It's got you looking so nervous. It's Krampus. Chill out and have a cinnamon. Theater party freshman year. Two, I've been trying to talk to Moses for days to tell him. There we go. My photos are probably the worst photos anyone's ever seen. But, um, that's fine. I'm not getting between that man and his man a massive deck. I love what you've done with the place. <laughs> Can't wait to take all this shit down. Abraxas's idea of holiday decor does not line up with mine. <laughs> I'm surprised you let them do anything. You're kind of a control freak. I am not. It's just my bar. <laughs> Whatever, Is this the one shoe, we go enjoy the party. So bossy. Don't remember. It's the truth. I'm the art freak. Hey guys. Max. Hey. Uh, not to be a downer, but things aren't looking good for you, Diamond. That's because I am playing the long game. You know there's only two more rounds, right? This game is impossible. I'm going to check out more at the party. See you guys. Sorry, Amanda. 
This place is gonna be a mess by the end of the night. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what else would you want to do at a party? It's a bit different, eh? I know Crumbs' Council can do me a favour and make some gingerbread houses so we don't have to put like a hundred of them in the trash. Hot Ward was out again but your boy got it in last night so he can say what's good or bad. Is this the same guy you brought home last winter? Maybe I'm not talking about this. But Edgy got some. No holiday flight home for me, I'll be staying in Lakeport until I figure out the Myra Carter story. Mugio to making gingerbread houses. Yeah, I mean, why not? Moses insisted on being here tonight to support us. Even though he won't see any of it. Oh, so we told Moses about what we were doing. Hey, Moses. That's so cool. Not sure I'll ever get used to that. <laughs> I like it. It'll help with cosplay. How's your first Krampus? It's amazing. Red lights everywhere and baby doll heads on the tree. It's... Anyway, that's not why we're here. Did you guys figure out a plan? Yeah. I'm making the slideshow happen and Sophie's working on Vin. Cool. Let me know if I can help, somehow. For sure. It's not you. It's me. I just don't under... Ready for the school year to be over? I am. This year has felt like a string of endless Mondays. You'll be here? I'll be in and out. Don't have too much fun. I can't believe this. Yeah. Whoa, this looks cool. Wonder if Diamond's making another film. Maybe. Wait. I used to love this game. Not exactly the right age group for this crowd. Is that a real game or? Huh. Just one. Hate it when that happens. Random. Place. Okay, that and seems you're the to one be everything in the guilt of staying in the game. I did I wanted to check it out first. Guess no one was up for going out tonight. To find all the secrets. College students love to barter. Mm. I guess Lakeport will have to find another bar to wet their whistle. Okay, let's go back to the happy place. Maybe Loretta turned up something that'll explain my unexpected house guest? Hmm. What's that QR code? Is that an actual QR code? I 
Oh, my phone's not picking it up. It's a podcast. But a cat turned up at our house. So maybe... Oh, we can scan it in game. <laughs> so maybe they've found who the cat belongs to. You missed Tiggy Cam earlier. Hello and welcome to Get a Clue with Loretta Rice, the only homegrown Lakeport true crime podcast. This week we're talking about a series of break-ins that culminated in a cat napping. If you're a Lakeport local, you'll remember Jackie and her cat. Their collaboration won last year's Local Artist Showcase Award when the little furball walked across Jackie's still wet canvas. We'll throw Jackie's contact info into the show notes, so get in touch if you know anything. Now, moving on. Man, has Daisy been a distinguished oh, artist this whole Daisy's time? Daisy's owner. That's nice, but also sad. Let me shoot Jackie a message before tonight gets any more out of control. Uh, sorry to bother you, my name's Max, I work at Caledon U and I think I might have found your cat. Describe this cat, great, a little reserve chatty. That sounds like her, my little demon. Did you hear the podcast? Yeah, this is one of my students. I'm so glad we found each other. I'm in the middle of an event right now, but we can talk later so I can get the little guy back to you. Sure, thanks, I've been missing my muse. I appreciate you posting those photos on Crosstalk. There are many photogenic cats in the world and mine is the most photogenic of them all. Nope, mine are the most photogenic of them all. I think we're fine. Well, I'm glad we did that. It's sad that we're not getting the cat, but... She better be making a fortune in tips. So, this is the projector. Looks expensive. Reggie looks nervous already. He might be a liability. Hey, Reggie. You manning the projector tonight? <laughs> Babysitting, more like. The school only agreed to let us use Olga here if someone kept an eye on her at all times. Oof. Not what you had planned for Krampus. Reggie, how would you feel about... letting someone else worry about the projector tonight? Yeah, right. It'll be on me if something goes wrong. This hmm. thing is probably worth more than my whole tuition. So, so ma'am, uh, please, gonna need you a few steps back. Yes, sir. Okay, um. Reggie's not going to cut it. But if something went wrong with that projector, and hmm. Moses was the only one who could fix it, hmm. but how can I make sure I only break it in a way that this Moses can fix? We can ask dead Moses. If anyone can convince Vin to do this, it's Safi. Happy Krampus. Uh, whoever successfully beats me at Mana Massive at Krampus tonight gets an A on their final. For legal reasons, this is a joke. Grades don't work that way. Okay, back we go. I'd love getting any one of these. Mm. Best gift. Wish we were here at International Beer Club. The everyday all in one non stick pan, money, chocolates. I should let Moses have a little more time with Diamond before I drag him into things. Hey, dead Moses. Oh, hang on. More posts. The university board member who will remain unnamed got drunk at my bar last week and told me how much they charge all for tuition. I thought, damn, I could buy a whole stable of horses for that dollar. Is it fair? Nay, I say. A dream of mangled books, Frankenstein and swings like head of a woman on the body of a beast. You've... that You posted that ages ago. I've read that before. Oh. 
Hey, Moses. What's up? We require Mozai assistance. I need to get other Reggie to let other Moses control the projector instead. Okay. I was thinking if something went wrong with it. So it's got to go wrong <coughs> that way, that's right, for me to fix it. Exactly. Do you know which projector it is? Reggie called Olga. it Olga? Olga can be articulate. If you go to the other side and listen, I can walk you through jamming it from here. Nice. You might be better at my powers than me. Probably. <laughs> Come back and let me know if it works, okay? I will. Nice. Better get into position. I don't. Uh, good evening, Maxine. Hope you're doing well. I was going to call, but it's difficult to say the words aloud. I know you and I aren't particularly close. Oh, wait, what? Hang on. Even though she ended her life in the manner she did, you both made the life she did have as special as it was brief. I know you and I aren't particularly close, but I did want to extend my time to you if you want to talk about anything I'm here. Sophia did so enjoy the Krampus event that was hard every year. So much whether you don't really have anyone else to talk to. It's okay. You don't need to apologize, Yasmin, and thank you. I'll try to reach out. Want to miss Moses' instructions. Do we listen here? Or do we listen? I guess we listen here. Do we? No? Where is he? Don't worry, Olga. We'll only break you a little bit. Moses. Moses, get your ass over here. This one first, then you can play that one. And then a red card, right? You got it. This has to be the nerdiest picture I've taken all year. Cool. This is what stopped me till we're one man of massive heads. Man of muscle? Yeah, maybe I need to interact with the projector. Sorry, Max. One second. We have to recount this turn. Just trust me, dude. I need Reggie's eyes off that projector long enough for me to get uh. my hands on it. Hmm. Huh. They're chummy. Maybe Diamond can help me out. Hey Diamond, hate to interrupt your game with Moses, but any chance you could distract Reggie via text for like one minute for me? What do I get out of it? A gold star sticker on your next paper? Bet I'm holding you to that. There's two ways I know if sure will work, neither of which is going to be fun for our guy. Reggie's never not stressing about his grades, so if there's an assignment he's missed, he'll start sweating over that. Reggie's also never not stressing over Vin. Those two are bad for each other, and to hear him tell it, they got it bad for each other. Ooh, we could hook them up. Mention Vin, but remember, I want to distract Reggie and not destroy him. Hey, he's my friend Max, I can distract him. Reggie's Alex. officially distracted. I should be good to go now. Nice. I hope Moses is ready on the other side to give me instructions. Maybe Rego did see her and she had to talk to him? Okay, how long did that take? Max, you there? Man, this feels silly. If you're there, start by opening the control hatch. It should be on the right side. Uh, control hatch. You mean there are more controls? You're kind of like a spy. Do you feel like a spy? Oh, Moses. Okay, Max, you back? If yes, switch to focus mode to manual. 
If no, I... If no, I'm not really sure. Just keep talking to myself, I guess. Focus mode, Madden. So far, so good. What's my next step? Shouldn't take too long, right? Click one switch. Yeah. <laughs> Max, next, make sure the focus dial is turned all the way to the left. Still needs to be a little more to the left. I love Moses, he's great. This looks like it's in the right spot. This looks like it's in the right spot. Cool. I'm giving you an extra second or two. Probably turn the knob all the way to the right at first by mistake. Okay. Hey. All right, Max. Final step. Just take Callum. <laughs> After a few seconds, you should hear the motor stick. I can't believe I just did that. I'm sorry, Elda. Sorry, Reggie, but this is one omelette we have to make. No, 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 shit. I would have closed the flap. Uh, what is happening, oh god? Moses, something went wrong. Dude, help. Help, please help. Hi, Moses. Moses, help. Hey, again. Hey, Moses. I need a favor. I think Reggie's on the brink of ruining school property. Oh, it's Olga. Everyone thinks she's finicky, but she's just... Rain check? Sure. Duty calls. Hey, Reggie, I found help. I, I, I don't know what happened. One minute she's fine, and the next she's yelling at me like she's my mom. <laughs> There's your problem. The focusing motor is stuck. <laughs> Maybe take the night off, Reggie. I think Moses has it from here. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, Max. You sure? Think about what's best for Olga. We do have to think about what's best for Olga. No offense, Reggie. Oh, none taken. Okay. If you're sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Moses. Moses knows something's up. You saved my life. <laughs> you're being all maxi. What's afoot? Shenanigans. Me and Sophie are hijacking the roast tonight. And we need your help to run this slideshow instead. We have good reason. You'll see. All right. I trust you. I should talk to the other Moses. Yeah, 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 we will. But we've got... You know, social media to check first. Moses fall into my blue deck supremacy. He mumbled beginners luck and ran off. He didn't want the snake. If memory serves, I was called away on an emergency. Plus, you'll be losing for a while there. Ooh. I got my hair done, and yes, it's still the same Mia Farrow cut. It's part of the Victoria Chase brand now. Ever think of switching it up? If it's not broke, why fix it? That would have distracted me too. Hey, Max. I hate to put Reggie on the spot, but a while back he shared with me some tasteful nudes he'd shot of Ben. Diamond! I honestly thought they'd make a great entry for his final. I showed you the confidence, Diamond. They're not for display or for finals. Nice. Right, back to the sad world we go. Hey, dead Moses! It worked. Other you is in place and ready to go. Nice. Where'd you get this house? Aren't they from the party? A man has saved me a kid. 
She knew Safi and I really got into it last year. Last piece. Oh, damn. Chimney broke. I can bring you a new chimney. <sighs> Wonder how it tastes. I bet I can find an extra chimney on the other side. Uh-huh. Just... Just hang on. I'll get you a chimney. I should talk to Safi and get the roast going. Not yet. Got to get a chimney. Look at that perfectly intact chimney. I'm going to take it. Hmm, hmm. I need a chimney. Gwen, have you got a chimney? Have you guys I've got a chimney? I've done everything I can. No, we haven't. Let's get this roast going. We need a chimney. Why do we get a chimney? Maybe I have to do it after the roast. Look at that perfectly intact chimney. Yeah, steal it. Classy. No chimney. Hey, Krampus, have you got a chimney? A Krampus in the wild. Need a chimney. Uh, pocket chimney? One more beanie and this thing's a goner. <laughs> she better be making a fortune in tips. That made me jump. <laughs> Even with the content warning. Well, I guess... We just have to start the race. Oh, Gingerbread House. Can I borrow Zafi for a sec? What's up? So, Other Moses is also making a Gingerbread House? Aww. Is he? Yeah, but his chimney broke. You mind if I take yours? How's he doing? Like, really? Shit. He seems really lonely right now. Because I'm gone? Yeah. Moses is the only one I do this for. Yay, chimney! <sighs> this was a doozy to make. It's so cool that I can pass messages between them. I love it. <coughs> you got a chimney! Guess who it's from? It's... For real? <laughs> from the other side, from... Safi? Thank you, Max. You're welcome. Yeah. I really thought I'd be making my gingerbread house without Safi this year, but she, my friends, found a way. They found a way. <laughs> oh. 
I'm not gonna cry. No. Uh-uh. Right, now we can do the roast. Still. We're ready to go. Is he... Part of your merry band? Yeah, I am. Great. Gwen's on board too. Dream oh. done. <laughs> Hope it's not for nothing. Why? What's going on? Lucas is about to call the whole thing off. He's out on the patio freaking out. He's supposed to announce his movie deal tonight. I guess he's worried it's too good to be true. Okay, so what do we do? Better be quick. Guy's two ticks away from calling an Uber. Fuck. I'm gonna go stall him. You figure something out, Max. Good luck. Yeah, I'll just figure something out. Sure. Sure. What's she doing? Oh. Is that Safi? Yeah, yep. that's Safi. <laughs> that's definitely Safi. I better go back up Safi out on the patio. Who isn't selling on a break, Olga? She's so expensive and I already have student loans. The secret's safe. Oh, good, Reggie. I'm no snitch. How are you the coolest teacher here? Probably because I'm not officially a teacher. I mean, you're not wrong, Dan. It's a vital job. Sunk! <laughs> Drink up, baby! But it's... How are you so good at this? Oh, the hell. Where I grew up, there was nothing to do but drink it. and set shit on fire. Do you strip poker next? You're a menace to society. Ah. Huh. That Vin chose Smash, too. Where's Greg? He never showed for our Krampus session earlier. I can't believe he missed... I'll be quick. How did you find success after years of mediocrity? Loretta? I talked about this in my workshops, Loretta. Don't you remember? You don't have to be good to be successful just persistent yes talent and persistence are what led to my success it's been years since water beast was published have you settled for an early retirement come on loretta you can't rush the process Lucas has a vision that requires time to perfect. Yes. Very well said, Max. Thank you. Besides, there's a reason Lucas needs to focus back on Wilder Beasts for now. Oh, really? If you stick around for the Krampus roast, you can be the first to break the news. Right, Lucas? Uh... Yeah, that's right, I'm sure. Nice work. That's what we're doing. We're basting Thanks him time, good. <sighs> For a moment there, it almost seemed like you were trying to insult me. No, of course not. Well, anyway. Thanks, Max. That young woman was aggressive. Loretta looks up to you. All the students do. I'll let you in. I almost called off the event before you got here. You? On your big night? <laughs> yeah, I know. If my old man could see me, 
He'd tell me to man up and get in there. <laughs> he was an author too, you know. Roberto Colmenero. <sighs> Come on then. I deserve this. I should stop stalling. Go get him. You do deserve this. I do kind of feel a bit sorry for him, but he, he does deserve it. What's in his pocket, though? Steal it. This guy is a jerk. He um, plagiarised one of his students' works and it became, like, a best-selling novel. Oh, shit. shit. Put it back. R.C. Roberto Colmenero. Great job, partner. Although, I thought you were going to puke there for a second. Lucas has a gun. Ew, what the fuck? Why? It belonged to his father. Sophie, this is bad. Oh, Jesus, Max. You might shoot me. Lucas might shoot me. America has problems. Give it to me. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Where have you put it? It wasn't a tiny gun. It's time for the Krampus Roast! <laughs> Let's welcome our guest of honor, Professor Lucas Colmanero. Fair warning, he's gonna say a few words before we start, so I hope everyone's already halfway to waste. <laughs> no hard feelings, bro. Hey. I'm gonna pause it there because it's time for a break and um, this is a nice cliffhanger to leave it on, I think. I'll see you in a few minutes for this roast. Would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Their size, their nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. <laughs> goblins, word of a rare. We got a snake in the bush! Here! Why can't I find any stairs? Yeah, we're all screaming and running this way. Yeah, we're screaming and running all together. Ah! in the house guys go get him yes I am oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god woo okay that was a spectacular death that I feel <laughs> was worth it
snail soup, you say? Did you see that guy was on the roof just then? It's only DC2. No. 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 You feel yourself repulsed as the doors of his mind slam shut. Right, let's race this guy. Jim, I, uh, I wanted to announce some surprising news. No? My world-renowned book, Wilder Beasts Than These. That's not right. Uh, who... What is this? Not your past, Lucas. Your former student, Maya Okada. Now that's odd. <laughs> I thought this was a presentation about your book. Would you care to explain what Maya's doing up there instead? These are not my slides. No? Then let me help you out. The beast rose and stared into me. It became me. I had always been the beast. <laughs> Powerful words from Caledon's famous pet novelist. Am I right? What do we all think? Maya was a good writer. Thanks, everyone. Now, wait a minute, Professor. This might be the clue we were looking for. So, what do we have here? Maya Okada's draft. Wait a minute. Maya wrote that sentence? That, that, that page? For real? Yes, for real. But dun, you already dun, know that. Dun. Because every word of your venerated novel belongs to Maya Okada. What the hell are you doing? Not this every word. Every some one of, the names. of this man's accolades belongs to Maya Okada. That's why he only wrote one book. I can't believe this. That's why the one book. You were right. It's working. How did he get away with this? You don't know what you're talking about. Try me. Shit. What's he got on Vin? All right, all right, let's rein this in. <laughs> now, we wouldn't want this What's roast he got on to Vin? end in any actionable legal threats. <laughs> uh, continue, please. As some of you must surely know, Maya Okada was a beloved former student of mine who tragically took her own life. The thought of her death being politicized and used as, as a cudgel, beyond disrespectful. Maya believed in my work. Yeah, that's she true. In me. He was probably just threatening legal action rather than anything. That's a load of horse shit, Coleman against Vin. Yeah, go ahead. Everything Vin Lang said is true. I should know. Because I helped cover it up. I shouldn't have, but I did. And so did this university. We all helped make sure that man never faced a single consequence. 
That's despicable. Horrible. Petty of you, Gwen. Trying to take me down with you. Unfortunately, Dr. Hunter was just terminated for, well, highly illegal conduct. That has nothing to do with this. In fact, her very presence on this campus may be unlawful in and of itself. Gwen, we've been colleagues for years. I understand you're disgruntled, but I hope in the future you can channel your anger more productively. How fucking dare you? Yes, how fucking dare you? Wow. Sorry about that, folks. I knew this would fucking happen. What are both. you doing? I'm I changing it to Ven. I'll make Lucas fess up myself. Sophie, wait. Really this is your chance to tell everyone your side. Shouldn't you go up there as yourself? Are you serious? We've right got now? his gun. If speaking my truth worked, we would have so be we can't here. blast his gun. I am serious. Superpowers aren't the answer to every problem. I would know. With the rest of Caledon. Fuck. As of next year, Wilder BCDs right. will be adapted into a feature. Trust you. Film. We have to get in this time, Max. So, <coughs> this turf, not mine. Yeah, that's true. He's probably got a backup gun for his backup gun. Do you really think I should go up there as myself? I wasn't listening to that. I was reading chat, but yeah, go as yourself. You can do this. Fuck. I hope that was the right Honestly, choice. Honestly, it's not my strong suit. We've lost him first. I feel like... Here we go. I mean, okay, yeah, this is America, so maybe you can just shoot people for being annoying and dicks and unpleasant people, but... Did you forget that I was actually there? That at one point we were all friends? You, me, and Maya? I trusted you. Was that all a lie too? You're trying to turn me into this monster. I watched you tour the country, win awards for the work you stole from her. I watched her beg you to stop. I watched you kill her. Now you expect me to watch you profit off her grave? Yeah, and what about you? If what I did was really so bad, you would have said something back then. You didn't. <clears throat> I was a child. What was your excuse? It was only like four years ago. And what young Sophie here doesn't understand is it, it wasn't stealing. Authors frequently take uh, inspiration from one another. Inspiration, yeah. I was going to word give for her word credit, inspiration. but then she, think about what I was going through at that time. My divorce, my son, this. This is absurd. Kind of time powers, but more like traveling to different event dimensions right. powers. They listened to me. Just me. Of course they did. You're you. <laughs> you don't know how much this means to me, Max. I'm just happy to share this moment with you. Okay, enough. Let's celebrate! Hey! <laughs> we need to talk. Alone. And before you say, fuck off, you'll want to hear this. Relax. I'm the one packing, remember? I'll be fine. Wait for me? I'll be over with Moses when you're ready. Can we listen in? I want to go and listen in. Lucas and Sophie? 
Yeah. Can that we go can't and be in? good. Oh, yeah. I should let other Moses know how it went. Where have they gone? They've gone out. What's the thief even taking? We're in Kali. We have like five bucks. That worked out better than I expected. Safi was phenomenal. I'm proud of her. Didn't feel so great what Lucas said to me, though. It meant a lot to Safi that you came forward. Yeah? Thanks, Max. Hey. Um, guess my emerging concerns about Lucas were proven correct. <laughs> I'm sorry, this truth about Lucas is me feeling some kind of way if this is who Khaled and says is worth, worthy of uplifting. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Khaled? I think I admitted this. I would, of course, implore you to stay because you're my only equal in our Frank war and also because you're brilliant. I know. So why would I share my brilliance with an institution that would protect someone like Lucas? Yeah, you don't know the school anything. I knew Maya. She was extremely talented and a very sweet person. I can't think of a worse person this could have happened to. What Lucas did to her and what he's still doing to her is reprehensible and Caledon should go down with him for covering it all up. They let this man run a whole department. A girl died and they were just like, cool, now have a promotion. Yeah. Do you think Rick would let me DM a session where we all play as cats living in clans in the world? Oh, you should do that, dude. You should DM that session. That was wild. So that's why you needed Moses, huh? Yeah. Man. The fact that Lucas was the department chair after doing that to a student really creeps me out, you know? I really do. Let's forget about Lucas for the rest of the night. And get hammered. <laughs> Sounds great. I'm gonna go. Should I should I talk to this Moses first, or should I talk to the other Moses first? I don't know what, what I should do. I want to update the other yeah. Moses first. Okay, good. I don't want to leave him hanging. Snapshot. <coughs> A true team effort. Let me just say, I have it in good authority that Safi had as much a hand in this house as Moses. I mean, not as much. She made the chimney. If we're being honest. We got him. What I would have given to see it. How is Safi? Surprised, I think. She's not used to people listening to her and believing her. You should get back. She'll need you. Can I listen in? I want to listen in. Us. She knows you're still here for her, too. Where did they go? outside. You keep talking like you're cursed, but you're not. You're in control. My powers didn't backfire. No one was killed by their ghostly selves. Yet. What matters most is Maya will finally get the recognition she deserves. In this and world. maybe Safi will move on. The way she smiled at me when she came off that stage tonight. I'll never forget that. Tonight was a win, but it was a lot. It's nice to have a moment to breathe.
Move over, quick! Whoa, did you steal that thing? I'm borrowing him. Um, why? He told me he wanted a selfie. I'd ask I'm Mr. Krampus time. for another photo, but we've got more important things to worry about right now. That's annoying. Whoa, <laughs> that made my entire year. Mine too. So that's what you two were planning this whole time. Wait, where's Sophie? Where's Sophie? Sophie wanted the truth, so I gave it to her. All of it. You don't even know what the fuck you just did, do you? Nope. What was that about? What's wrong? Whoa. My head, it... It was my book! I can't... I can't... I can't leave you! Please, I can do this! You lied to me. You lied, you lied to, me. to me. You lied, you lied to, me. to me. What the hell? You lied to me. Sophie. You lied to me. 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 Shit's getting even weirder. Oh, here we go. Headaches are getting worse. I'm sorry, Maya. It's all gone so wrong. That doesn't make it okay. These poor kids. They're in so much pain. Can you two hear me? Get back, Mom! I'm sorry. Time maybe go to the other. Maya and I need to come up here and look down at the pool. Mom, is Sophie with Yasmin? Is she? Is she holding something? night we shot her this isn't in the past we have ruined the school mm. we did yes, nothing we mom. only terrible choices you won't even admit since my life shielding you from harm you have no idea what you did is unforgivable almost there 
and she's Hold got on. the gun. Yeah. Both of these. I was trying to say Shit. you were trying to protect me. Say it one more time. I fucking dare you. Sophie, don't do Stay this. Stay back! Both of you. Sophie, listen to me. Your powers are hurting people. The whole campus is in danger. All this time, I've been trying to get justice, and she's the one who's been getting in the way. Not Gwen, my own fucking mother. It was a bad idea. I didn't. I didn't make that decision, though. Just it was saying. you. You canceled her book deal. The book was just her latest twisted fuckery. She's been doing this for years, since I was a kid. <coughs> you deserve better than what I. <laughs> Dad, and she made me think it was his idea. How fucked up is that? There's no reason to shoot you someone don't there. Understand? This world can be so cruel. How's this for cruel? The only time in my entire life that you were controlling me was when I wasn't even me. Happy oh. day. Yeah. Oh. oh my God. Okay, if I was in this scenario... I think I'd rush her. No! What the fuck, Max? Oh, shit. You the fucking hero again? You're gonna just stay back and let me handle this for once? It's okay, Yasmin. You're gonna be okay. Get? Away from her! Ah! Oh my god, Sophie! Ah! I made the wrong call, guys. Ah! Ah! No shit, Max. Oh, this is why. This is why we have to shoot her so that this doesn't happen. Could Max hurt Safi? I mean, of course she could. People saying, oh no, I could never. It's like, well, you did, so you're lying. That's interesting. Most people said she should go as herself. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I think I fucked that up. Ooh, 50-50 for reflecting by the fireplace. Interesting. Uh, I did not see the to-do list on the fridge and both timelines. Uh, that's turned not to shapeshift into Amanda again. Yeah. It's like Safi ruining Lucas's bond with his son. Yeah, of course. Like, fuck Lucas, but leave his son out of it. Uh, Max told Safi she killed her. Interesting that most people just said she's dead. 4% of people didn't do the chimney. I hope you're all ashamed of yourself, you 4% of people, because that's just unforgivable. Almost as unforgivable as not getting him the hot chocolate, which I know is my bad, and I'm holding my hands up to that. I'm pretty sure that's why everything went to shit in the end because I didn't get in the hot chocolate. Um, but not helping him finish his gingerbread house. Just guys, what are you doing? Fifty uh, percent touched the Krampus figurine. Fifty percent insulted Lucas during the chat with Dark Loretta. <laughs> I couldn't help that. That was. You know, it was just there, wasn't it? Uh, Max cheered during the race. Max booed during the race. Max spoke with both Moseses. There we go. There's the uh, plural of Mos Moseses. 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 Ah, some people didn't speak to them before the race. Interesting. And we reflected after the Krampus party. Not many people did that. Interesting, interesting. We're carrying on, guys. 